So here we have the Chi Black Mamba V3. So, yep, a new 3x3 from Chi, but apparently it's not even magnetic. And yes, a £7 3x3 that's not even magnetic. Can it be any good? That is the question. Okay, it would be nice if it came out of here easily. Uh, uh, what? Chi, what on earth were you thinking? <laughs> look, look. It's, it's stuck. Literally, it's stuck. Um, how do you get it out? Is this an April Fool's joke? A bit late. Um, right. Pause the video and, um, figure Right, okay, so you take it out like that. How stupid. I mean, maybe it's just me being stupid, not me having to figure stuff like that out. Right, okay, um, some stupid setting tools and um, a book on how to solve all sorts of different cubes in Chinese. Um, right, okay, so let's try this. Okay. So. This interesting. Um, yeah. I'm not, I really am not sure what to say about this. I mean, <laughs> it needs magnets. In fact, I, I definitely plan to magnetize this because. <laughs> I, I don't really understand why they didn't magnetise it. Why they just randomly released a non-magnetic 3x3. And it's not even like an ultra-budget cube. It's like, it's... I mean, it's definitely better than the Warrior S. Um, and, like, pretty good. I mean, you can hear the turning is decent. Okay, it doesn't quite have full corner cutting, a bit like the but the corner cutting is probably better than the Tornado V2. I mean, that had terrible corner cutting. I don't know why anybody really liked it personally, but that's just my opinion. So the important stats, right? Okay, so it is 55.7 millimeters. Um, so definitely bigger than the. Uh, GMS and Tornado V2. I'm not sure about GMS actually, but definitely bigger than the Tornado V2. 71 grams, which is about average really. A bit high considering there are no magnets, but then again, the um, weights have been taken off by significantly gone down by GAN with their very, very light recent releases. But other than that, you can see the turning is smooth, but obviously there are no magnets, so it doesn't line up perfectly. But for a cube without magnets, it is very good. Um, yes, you can still pop pieces out, so it's not like the G-Warrior S where you can't. It's basically impossible on that cube, but um, it's not too difficult. Um, I guess let's break it down. So, yep, the mechanism looks quite interesting. It's just pretty somewhat basic, but not ultra basic. Um, they've clearly put some thought into it, and it's not just a really simple mould. There is a bit more to it than that. You see the design. I'm actually comparing it to the RS3M 2020. I think it, it's there's some similarity, which is a bit surprising, but not... Not really that, that's much similarity, but still interesting nonetheless. I think it's a bit of an interesting design of a cube, but um, pretty good. And I'm definitely going to have to magnetise it. So what we can see from these solves is just a few of the issues. There were clearly some lockups there. And obviously these solves are below average, but I was 
solving at a weird angle that I don't like solving at. So there is that. However, clearly there is something slightly wrong here. Um, there are a few lockups, and I think this is just because par partly it's because it's non-magnetic, and partly because it doesn't have a full range of corner cutting, which I'm sorry is what I expect from cubes nowadays. I don't care that maybe I should turn a bit more accurately. No, cubes should have full corner cutting. Okay, <laughs> it's just the way it is. However. Nonetheless, I do think this is a pretty good cube, and I am probably going to magnetize this and see whether it's good. I may even release a magnetic version on speedcubing.org because I just I, I don't understand why it's non-magnetic. I, I because it I think it's probab it probably will be better than the GMP when it's magnetized. And if it's gonna be better than the GMP when it's magnetized, then well it competes with the RS3M 2020 as best 10 pound cube so one thing that really annoys me about this cube is the stupid box design it's just inconvenient it means i have to use a much larger envelope to send it out to anyone than i otherwise would so i just thought well i wonder how quickly i can make a better box for this cube so let's find out right okay So yep, under four minutes to make a better box than the stupid box it came in. Obviously it's not perfect, it could definitely do with some quite significant improvements, including using thicker card and all sorts of other stuff like that, um, and actually having some text on it to determine what cube it is. But this is a better box than the stupid thing it came in. Thanks for watching, please like, comment, share and subscribe. And you can buy this for £7 from speedcubing.org and over 400 other cubing products.